Good morning. It is 6.20 a.m. on Monday, August 3rd, 2020. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. I'm listening to Rocket in the background. Um, I'm, I can hear when he sort of puts his, uh, you know, goes up on his hind legs to try to, you know, uh, he, he can just reach something that is sticking off the edge of the counter. And so occasionally it's like I hear him trying for something. It's like, uh-oh, what is it going to be? What is he going to get? Um, now I'm distracted by that. I uh, had a good session of uh, watching 100 movies last night. Uh, we talked about Schindler's List and Lawrence of Arabia, and both of those spurred really good conversations. Um, uh, gosh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm distracted. Uh, all sorts of things that are just kind of, I don't want to say throwing me off my groove or anything. It's more just like I, I feel a little bit scattered this morning. Uh, earlier, uh, I was in the bathroom when I heard Rocket barking at something, and, you know, I would occasionally be able to call him to me and have him stop briefly, but then he'd run back to where it was and was barking some more and is like, oh, no, what is it? Is it something serious? And um, so I tried to finish up in the, with the bathroom as much as I could, and then I went over to see, and it turns out there was a hairbrush on a bookshelf that he didn't like the look of. He didn't like that one bit, that hairbrush. And so he was barking at it. He's a very silly little dog. Um, he's he's a very good boy. <sighs> um, so I'm back trying to... Uh, I'm at the very least going to be going into the office this morning. Um, I'm not sure how much this week I'll need to, but I'm at least going to be doing some, you know, work to be done. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's, that's just how it goes. Uh, we got some rain yesterday, which was really nice because it's been so hot. And there had been several times where it was forecasted to rain. And I was like thinking to myself, oh, won't that be nice? And then it just never happens. But, uh, yesterday we got some, uh, heavy rain in the afternoon and, I just had, you know, like I opened up the windows, even though it's still a little warm outside, but just the, the, the smell of the rain and the, the humid, cooler air, uh, was really nice. And, you know, it, it, it made me, uh, briefly have a question about like, are there like nerve cells in our lungs? Like, because I was just breathing that air and feeling like that feels good to breathe. But is it more than just liking the smell? Like what is physiologically happening there when I say that it feels good to breathe? I don't know. Because, um, I mean, I don't normally think of... I mean, I guess the lungs do definitely have some degree of nerve endings, at least just in the sense of like, we can sort of sense our muscles moving and have like some degree of autonomic control over it. You know, like even though we breathe subconsciously and automatically, you know, we got, we also can choose to take a breath. So, you know, there's, there's nerve cells going in there, but we just don't normally think of, you know, what do our lungs feel right now? But, you know, like when we feel congested in the chest, I guess that's probably, you know, lungs reacting to some sort of a nerve stimuli, right? That makes sense. Uh, Rocket was kind of pacing around, but now that I'm sitting here doing this, he's, he is settled down. He is, he is a very good boy and, um, I had a good weekend, um, trying to, you know, he, he got to go to the dog park again yesterday. He definitely likes that a lot. And gosh, I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm still a little scattered. I have to get like a shower real quick and then get moving. I'm uh, a little bit behind schedule this morning. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up here, but I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes. How about that? Mm-hmm.